Welcome to another review from Colin McLeod. E-Juice Reviews. So we're going for collaboration time. So kind of two flavours or two companies in one. Nasty recently collaborated with uh, Kilo, a cross, cross-continental collab. Two big players in the e-juice industry. We've got Nasty Juice from Malaysia and uh, obviously Kilo from the States. Both, like I said, big players. Loads of flavours. Um massive massive fan base i don't really need to go into them because most people will know who they are so nasty x kilo i got to show off i got a t-shirt anyway um we got dillinger and gambino in the nasty kilo range that is only the two flavors um let's just go into this packaging a little bit so they come in these little boxes you open up the side here what's up then you got yeah design on the inside also it's kind of like a uh, a playing card design you've got the the uh, nasty nasty geezer at the top and this kilo lady at the bottom nasty kilo obviously it's very well done nice design um put a lot of thought into it, obviously but then obviously when you open it up you've got a kind of i don't know like a dom perion presentation case and there you go your bottle's presented in there and that's it you get your 60 mil Obviously, mine's can pre-mix, but you can get, well, due to the stupid TPD laws in the UK, you get your 50 mil in, in your nick shot and you top it up yourself. You know the score, so. I'm going to quickly go through um, the flavour profiles. Nasty Dillinger, right, so bear with me because I've never, ever come across a flavour profile like this, ever. So just, just bear with me and I'll, I'll, I'll break it down. Top of the world. We're banging the whole effing year to the next level with Coolio Watermelons and De Bomb Honeydew. You almost taste a gangster in this. Dreaming of a fug life? Look no further than your vape. That's the La Vista, baby. So, yeah, Coolio Watermelons and Honeydew is pretty much what was in all of that. So I'm guessing, I've not actually tried it, I'm guessing there's going to be melon and maybe a mentful cool flavour. So I know Nasty Juice, they do a lot of low mint, uh, low mentful flavours, which... I'm not a fan of menthol, but their low mints in their range is it, it, it's a really nice addition. It's not too powerful, but it gives it a nice little edge, a nice little throaty. It, you know you're vaping it kind of thing, so we'll crack on with this. Oh, that's a greedy vape. Yeah. So that is definitely warm and there's that honeydew flavour kind of there but it's not it's not oh like the main flavour is your watermelon but it's more like a sweetie um artificial water like bubblegum kind of watermelon flavour and then you've got the honeydew as well it's all all watermelon on the inhale such a good vape though No throat hit, nice smooth vape. It's just a nice, rich flavour. There's, there's a creaminess that takes it takes it away from just being, just being a fruit flavour or just being a standard watermelon flavour. But I'd expect nothing less from these two companies at all. That that's very well executed. You can tell that's a premium juice. Um, Dillinger, massive thumbs up for me. I'm I'm a fan of that. So I'm just going to switch out my RDAs so I can get a try of this. Uh, Gambino, which is in the black one, similar design, same case, but this one's got the kilo at the top, nasty at the bottom. All right, let's crack on this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read again. Bear with me. This uh, this little what's it called? Flavor profile. That's the one. So again, this is a three mil, zero, three, six, whatever you need, you can get it in. It's a seventy thirty VG PG. Um, let's just sort that out a bit, we'll dump it on there. Let's go, so, bear with me. Yeah, high key dig, the popping juice, so goddamn good for chillaxing in the club. Mixture of strawberries, oranges and bananas are damn lit to keep your jiggy fresh all night long. Talk about beaches and cheddar. Yeah, skidder pap pap. I swear down that is that is literally what is on their website. So again, break it down: strawberries, oranges, and bananas, and it's it's supposedly lit. So let's have a go on this. Ooh, oh, that is 
fruity. Yeah, it's nice. So I just picked up an orange, the orange on the exhale there. Again, it's another smooth uh, cream, kind of creamy vape. Not as creamy as that, it's a little bit more creamy. As in cream, the actual cream. That is a creamier vape than this. This is more of a fruit-based vape. Wow. So normally I'd be more swayed by something that was a little bit more desserty, puddingy, which this, for me, kind of is compared to that. Um, but down, that is nice. That is really, really nice. So you're getting your, as I said, orange on the exhale. Mixed in with bananas. So I don't pick up it. You get strawberry. It's a strawberry orange mixture. It's hard to pick out just a strawberry. When you exhale and you've got a banana, oh, you that banana now. Just wow, yeah, I'm, I'm blown away by that. So yeah, it's a strawberry orange mixture on your inhale and your exhale. You're getting this little banana hint. It's not a massive banana flavour. It's more like a real banana taste than them foam bananas you usually get in vapes. Um, but it's mixed, mixed with those oranges. Wow. So for me, massive, massive thumbs up. I'm going to go. That's the best one for me out of the two. Um, Dillinger's still good. These are top, top flavours. Definitely you can check them out. I'm going to leave. You can obviously get them straight from the nasty site. Um, I'll leave links in the, in the description, please, if you like this video, give it a like, uh, subscribe if you want more, I've got all these nasty ones to review here, um, thanks for watching, keep it cloudy.